In today's video, we're gonna go through the burger that Times Magazine named as the most influential burger in America history. That burger is the White Castle Slider. White Castle was founded over 100 years ago, but unfortunately, it's still not a franchise. So as a refresher for those that don't know the White Castle brand, it's an American fast food and pretty regional burger chain founded over 100 years ago in Wichita, Kansas, which with locations throughout the Midwest as well as select locations outside that region. Um, and it was founded in 1921 by Walter Anderson as well as Billy Ingram. It's popular for its small square burger, also coined the White Castle Slider. Uh, they have more than 400 locations uh, throughout 13 US states as well as the District of Columbia. White Castle is credited with being the first company to use limited menu, standard operation procedures, as well as supply chain management to sell a product in mass. The current CEO is Lisa Ingram, the great granddaughter of the founder, her great grandfather, Billy Ingram. Now, White Castle is not franchising. Based on all other burger franchises that we've analyzed in, in the Veta Biz portfolio, and there's about 20 or 30 uh, burger franchises available, currently active seeking franchisees, it would cost you between 500,000 to 2.5 million to open up a White Castle franchise. The biggest variation would be the build out costs, furnitures and fixtures, as well as working capital until you break even and start making a substantial income from your burger franchise. The business has since moved from Kansas and is now based in Ohio. Between Louisville and Columbus, they also house their bulk manufacturing that includes grocery store sales, meat, as well as meat and bun production. The company tried to expand in a few different cities like uh, Philadelphia, Kansas City, even Cleveland in the early 2000s, and they did not have much success expanding into those markets, as well as they've had international locations, but they haven't had much success, and that includes in, in countries in Asia and the Americas. Now they're really much more focused in the United States and looking to grow their brand through corporately owned and operated stores by the Ingram family uh, and not franchising, at least not in 2022. I hope you like this video. If there's other burger franchises or other franchises for that matter that you'd like us to review, just leave it in the comment section.